morning. It's Wednesday, so we're starting quite late this week. Um, Saturday was Auto Alex Shedfest, or as most people are calling it, Shitfest. Um, yeah, not good. They sent you a, what three words, location, um, and said you can get there from half past nine and they'll open the doors at half past ten. So we thought, well, if they're opening the doors at half past ten, we'll aim to get there for half past ten. Well, we got there, well, we got a mile away from the location at about half past ten. And we didn't really move from that location for three hours. Um, after about... Well, just under three hours, we decided, right, we're going to abandon the car and walk. So we walked two and a bit miles. We got in the gate about quarter past two um, and was in the show for a couple of hours because obviously everyone who was in there started leaving around four. Hmm, wasn't good. Since put a complaint in and got a refund. Um, I don't know what the hell was going on, but let's hope next year is a bit more successful. Then it was Bank Holiday Monday, obviously. Went to East Coast Retros. Um, went for a couple of hours. Started to rain. Come home. So yesterday, um, Tuesday, I had to take the silver jag, the donor, to the scrapyard. So that's gone. Then I had to do a few more bits of moving about, including this. A 2001 Z3 wide body 2.2. Um, a friend of mine, they've had it for a few years now in fact i took them to collect it on the trailer um but they're getting to the age now where it's not really that practical for them anymore so they've asked me to take it clean it up get it through an mot and sell it uh the mot is due friday they've told me to use it this week just to sort of get things like the brakes cleaned up and make sure there's no knocks and bangs etc um i took it home last night brought it in this morning and one of the rear wheels is red hot so one of the calipers is sticking on so we need to get it on the ramp and check that out um, it needs a bit of a wash and polish it's had a cover on over the winter um, so it's got a few marks where the covers rubbed like this they obviously the the bungee was rubbing so we need to tea cut that uh, the inside needs a good clean up where it's been sat around um, but it's a nice car i mean you know I'm not a massive BMW fan anymore, but it drives quite nice. So that was that. I also had to take the tractor that was here back to the to his, because he owns that tractor. So he, I was storing it here for a while, so he did a bit of a switcheroo. So, right, back in the workshop then for today's first job. Crazy. Um, didn't get that, I don't think, with my old camera. Anyway, the Vectra. Um, I need to do the rear springs on that. Uh, pump the tyres up, change the wiper blades. Um, try and lo loosen up the gear selector because I think it's exactly the same as the Saab um, and then it's in for MOT on front okay, so let's get these rear springs changed right so with the Vectra I'm thinking um, of undoing this one as it's easier to get to using the transmission jack to lower this pop the spring out put a new one in jack it up I could do this one but I'm thinking this end might give me a bit more leverage because obviously it's longer. So we'll give that a go and see what happens. Right, so these are undone. I have marked, because it, ha it has rotated now, but I've marked the bottom of this washer because they are cam bolts. So it will need the tracking doing afterwards, but I've marked to put it back as close as possible. So yeah, so just undo that, pop that bolt out, lower the arm, put the spring in. That one's already done. And that one, there's the two halves, so definitely needed doing. Right, both new springs are in. So now we can drop it down and do the bits we need to up top. Right, next is the uh, Z3 on the lift. I've just had the rear, driver's side rear wheel off to loosen up the caliper because it was sticking a bit. I've cleaned the disc back, I've cleaned the sliders up and re-greased them. I've also just T-cut the right hand light and you can see the difference straight away. So I'm gonna tea cut the other one, give them a quick coat of polish as well. It's not perfect, but it at least brightens them up uh, for MOT. The Vectra's still got to go for a wash, but you can see straight away the difference. That one's a lot brighter than that one, just for a quick tea cut. How do? Friday morning. Well, it's actually Friday afternoon, that's just ticked over. 
the Vectra there. My friend who it belongs to wanted it MOT'd at his normal place in Chelmsford as that's where he gets all his stuff done. He's from that way. Um, I drove it over there and popped a brake hose or brake pipe, copper pipe. They didn't have time to do it. So it obviously failed its MOT for no brakes and got returned back here. So it's now Friday afternoon and I am having a bit of a shift around. I have cleared a load of space there. So at the minute I've got one, obviously them empty pallets, two, three, four empty bays there. I'm gonna clear out the racking this side. There is so much rubbish here. I've actually got a pile there, bits that I had for sale, bits that, you know, might be needed one day. No, they're all going in the scrap. I'm emptying that bay because we are going to shift those cupboards and we're gonna spin that bay round 90 degrees so it's against that wall. I'm gonna to have to cut and weld the um, supports because that area is too wide for one bay. So it needs to be shortened down. So I'll probably only get two pallets, four pallets, six pallets on it. Um, but getting pallets down from there is a nightmare because this bay has got to be free and you've, you've, they can't be any over length at all because you've only got enough room between there and getting the forklift boom up in that gap to be able to lift it up. It is so tight. And obviously if you've got to get one out of the middle, you've got to move loads to get that out because you can't get it out, swing it, etc. So that's what's gonna happen. That bay is gonna be shortened and go on the back wall. These bays are gonna be removed. They've done me a purpose. I needed the space, but I'm fed up of storing stuff. I'm fed up of not having the room. So this is gonna go and I'm gonna have an extra floor space here so I can get an extra car in to work on. Um, obviously I can move one over um, and then I'll have more room here. Because obviously I can squeeze one in here like I did with the Jag, but it's just all a bit tight and blah, 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 blah. So that is the plan. Gonna have one rack at the back and these racks are gonna go. So I've cleared that one down. I'm gonna sort through all this because a lot of this is tut and I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm fed up storing stuff. Seat box out of the Defender. I've got the newer, later one. That one's been mashed around, bent about, cut about to be able to get it to fit over an R380. Now we've got the right tunnel, so that's gonna go in the scrap. The dash bit's gonna go in the scrap. Loads of bits are gonna go in the scrap. All the mini bits I kept, had for sale for ages, no one's bought, going in the scrap. This, load of tut, going in the bit. Can't be bothered with it. All the Jag bits there from the S-Type that we broke that I haven't sold, again, gonna get scrapped. The mini bits are gonna get sorted and go over back up on that top shelf where the odd mini bits are. Um, these were the bits I needed for mine while I was building it. Well, now it's built, other than the carb going back on, which I have picked back up. So the refreshed number two carb is gonna go on. Um, so these don't need to be here. Petrol cans, stuff like that can all go. Um, ZR160 subframes, yes, I need to sort a couple of those out for the build, but they don't need to be there. They can be stripped down, ready for um, powder coating and refitting. The MG roof is gonna go on the top shelf when it's over there. Um, and yeah, these cupboards are gonna go. I'm gonna find somewhere else for these so that this door actually, that's the pedestrian door I'm coming out of, but this door actually opens as well. So I'll be able to open that and get a car in this side. Open that door, get a car in this side, that door open, get a car in there. So that's the plan. So yeah, there's not been a great deal going on this week, I'm afraid, but I have been doing bits and pieces in the background, but it's not a, nothing really exciting to show, but I just thought I'd update you. Right, I've still got a couple of spaces down there. I've got to sort that pallet out. I'll just put it out of the way for tonight. So there's still room for two pallets down there once that is done, because that's an extra wide pallet. So I need two normal narrow ones to go in there. Uh, still got all those bits to sort out for the ZR and there are mini subframes there. I've stuck on eBay for cheap. If they don't go in before I need to go to the scrap yard, they'll go at the scrap. A couple more pallets here I've got to sort. Uh, I've moved one upright over there, ready. Um, I'm going to have to re 
stack these because they're all wonky and these are all wonky they won't go side by side so i need to lift each one of those off put it back on nicely and then hopefully do the same with this pallet and that'll all go next to each other underneath and i'll do the same as this so i'll have a bar and then um you know a level can be straight on top of those pretty much so right uh, it's friday afternoon oh, it's warm. Um, I'm back in here tomorrow to sort of carry on with this. I might show you what I've, how I finish up. I might not. Um, but other than that, I think that's it for tonight. And that's it. The racking is down. Um, we have got the two uprights in the corner ready for the um, supports to be trimmed and welded. And then we'll just work through this lot that we've got here. We A lot of this, well, I say a lot of it, probably a lot of it has just got to go in the bin. So... I've just piled it all up here, just so I can start going through it. And at least I can now get back and use the ramp. As you can see, the Vectra's up there ready for the brake pipes on Monday. And the Saab's just going to live in there. As it's a nice weekend, I'll be in the MGF. So there you go. So I'll leave this here. Um, thanks for watching. I know it's not been much going on this week. It's just I'm about to get these bits done. Um, so I'll see you next week. We'll do the Vectra brake lines. We've got... Uh, the Range Rover to do with a uh, gearbox service, um, the gearbox cooler. We've got a Jag coming in for service, but the owner's doing it himself. He's just using my ramp. Um, and we'll see what else happens. So have, have a great weekend. The weather's going to be fantastic. So I'll see you in the next one. Tell her, guys. <laughs>